Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of How to Blender series, where we explore different tools Blender offers us. I found out that there is a much simpler way to make VDMs than I have showed before. We just need to use a new Blender add-on. But the problem is that add-on is not pre-installed, so what you want to do is go to the Blender site, click on the what's new button as you can see here i'm presented with a beautiful splash screen and the weather 3.5 we want to click on what's new again what's new and then you want to scroll all the way down until you find the better displacement maps and you want to make sure you have downloaded the demo file then you just unzip it to a place where you know you will find it. Now, back to Blender. Here, what you want to do is you want to enable the add-on and you do that by going into Edit, Preferences, and then you want to find the fo file you have unzipped, which is called VDM Brush Demo. And then inside it, you will be presented with Two of these folders and you want to go to the video and creating brushes and here you can see an add-on so you want to select it and click on install add-on now you can search for it in the search bar with the m and make sure it is enabled so when you have enabled it you can save preferences or if you have the auto save enabled it will automatically put it in your viewport so the add-on can be at two places as you can see in this case i can see the video brush baker here and here sometimes it will only appear in this part sometimes it will only appear here you can say i'm lucky i got it in the both planes and now what i want to do is click on a create sculpting plane to begin the process and it automatically puts us into scope mode, which is amazing. So now we'll be doing all these horns and you might be like, all these horns, but you promised that you will do antlers. We saw antlers in the thumbnail of your video. Well, I have a good enough reason for that. I decided to do those instead, since we will need to use dynamic topology while having a grid that which is already subdivided and that will lead to a lot of lag and a lot of crashes believe me i was the one doing the horns before so the way i'm going to show you now is basically how you're going to do all of your vdms and what you want to do now is select the snake hook brush since that is the one we are going to use to make our general shape then under brush settings we are going to configure some of the settings so first you want to put hardness up to 1 in auto smooth you can put it to 0 0.5 or 6 it really depends on the preference now i will make the radius a bit bigger and what you are going to draw is like an s shape Draw all the way down and then I will try to do something like this. Make me make the belly or the horn a bit bigger. But do not worry because later we can pick on the elastic deform brush to tweak it. Okay, now that my settings are correct, let's try to do the first stroke. Just And you can see that this looks a lot so different than the draw brush, in other words, the elastic deform and snake hook brush you're used to. That's because we set the hardness, so we can get these shapes much more easily. I will actually try to lower the strength to see which result I will get. You can see that will make me get a shorter horn. So let me increase the strength back. And this is it. 
Once you get the shape you're happy with, so I suggest you grab a smooth brush, lower the strength, then try smoothing it. Deposit the direction shall work. Especially with these parts where it seems kind of messy, you want to smooth it out so you do not have any holes in the mesh or intersecting parts as well. And after you smooth it, you're going to be able to add detail. Make sure you go over all sides before you do that, like this. And since this is pretty high poly, you can see the add-on we have automatically gives us a grid with half a million vertices. This is all geometry you're going to need. Want to smooth the base too. Let me first sculpt the base. I mean, you can leave it as it is, but I like to use the face strips brush to do something like this. It gives it more of an organic look. And you always want to look at it from the distance. If it looks good to the eye, it's fine. You want to smooth this part, especially where the mesh seems to intersect. And now the fun part. You can use the draw brush or even the crease brush for detailing. I will start with the draw brush on the negative direction then make the radius a bit smaller. I'll draw, draw lines. Do not worry if the geometry seems stretched because when we add this to our mesh and use the multi-resolution modifier it's going to capture all these details we do and it's going to give it the proper vertex count to make these details visible. Now I'm just doing the lines that Follow the geometry, but also that are like slightly curved. You can you can use the references of real horns for help. Then I will use the positive direction draw brush to do the same creases and later I will also add some of the bumps and so called damage to our horn. Doesn't have to be all over it like we did those creases but some will be nice. Now increase it, lower the strength a bit, and maybe add like wine, like this. Or a so-called imperfection. You can see where it meets, so you can add the ones on the other side, make it look bumpy, and for it to match. Because I'm not doing this with symmetry, because horns are never symmetric. I want it to look as natural. And 
And then I will actually use the draw sharp, br sharp brush to the negative direction to make those damage. I will just draw a bit, smooth it. Try to look for spots that have enough geometry for you to add those details, like the here, for example. Or even up here. And once you're happy with your horn, I recommend going to the draw brush. And then up here when you're in this, I call it the wrench tab, you want to scroll all the way down to until you see your Vidian brush baker. Here, we're not going to press create sculpting point, but render and create Vidian brush. For that, you want to name your Vidian something you already haven't named it, so I will name it like always on nice and map resolution it says is that it doesn't matter because VDMs are always almost the same quality but I like to put it for the words at 2000 to K and leave the compression as zip because that is fine now the moment of truth, render and create video brushes. And now it's created. Let me just erase this because it's kind of annoying. Nice, like this. And you can see the horn better. Now when I go to the draw brush, you can see that something happened here. We have this little icon here, enable it and disable it. Will Give you the preview of this flat plane and it's not a flat plane because this is actually a mapping of our vdm except we cannot see it here and if i click here we can switch between the vdm we created and the normal sculpting drawing brush but if you want to see your vdm you can go up here to the rendering tab and under this drop down here next to render result you can select the always horn this is your vdm you just created and when you click on the folder here you're going to find a folder that blender automatically makes for you so it's called output vdm and inside it it will store all of the vdms you create using this add-on so they're all going to be in one place which is amazing Okay, now that we got our horn, I will save. Okay. Then I will go to the object mode. I will hide it. And then let me add a cube. I'm going to subdivide this cube quite a bit. Or if you really want a cube, you can go to the object mode. Otherwise, sculpt mode and then remesh the cube at like let's say I'll do 0 0.01 which gives me um, about and a half k vertices then I'll make sure the draw brush is selected that we have our horns and you can see that our brush has become pinkish which means it is using the video map I'm going to enable symmetry and which is amazing, what is amazing with this add-on is because it automatically puts our mapping to area plane, enables vector displacement, and keeps our stroke method to anchored. Not x-axis, let's do it on y. We have our horns. Like this. Let me try to place them a bit better. Disable the x-axis. Hmm. Maybe place them somewhere here. We have our horns and let's now try to remesh them. And now our horns have the same amount of vertices as our cube does. So let me just enable my, my smooth brush. I smooth it a bit and you can see now all those details you have done are here. 
And now you can diesel it even more, but the point of VDM is to bring in the shape you already made. So if, for example, if you want to do spikes all over the body of a creature, it's much easier than to sculpt each one and tweak it. And now, for example, I can just grab my brush, don't forget to switch to the other one, and sculpt the detail like you're supposed to do. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed and learned something new, so feel free to share, subscribe, like and comment, I always appreciate that type of stuff. And well, I hope you to see you in my future videos. See you and bye bye.